Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Uh, today I am going to be setting up some bull traps in the yard to see what kind of bees I can catch. Um, so I'm going to show you the items that are used in these traps and then just give uh, periodic updates throughout the day and see what we've been catching. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Alright, so the premise of bull traps are really easy. Um, you need is uh, colored bowls, uh, water, and then uh, dish soap to put in the water. And uh, what the dish soap does is it breaks the surface tension of the water so when the insects fly into the bowl, instead of staying on top of the water, they actually drown so they can't escape. Um, and then when it comes to bowls, I use just yellow bowls and uh, blue bowls. But you can use the any color of bowls you want that they sell. Uh, most common ones are the blue, yellow, and white color. Um, and there are certain families that are attracted to certain colors, so... If you want the most diversity in families and species, the more colored bowls you have, the better you're likely off. Um, but yeah, so let's get these set up and get going on this. Alright, so in the front here I set up, I set down a couple bowls. Um, so basically you, you place the bowl where you want it, fill it with water. Well, that's as simple as it is. And the rest is just a waiting game. I got a yellow trap there. Put a blue bowl here. And set up the other one here. Try to place them in strategic points in the yard. So they all kind of, no matter where the bees go, they can hopefully see one of the colors. But now I got a few more bowls here. I'll go set them up in the side and in the back. All right, so the side of the yard is a little more slopey than the front. So I kind of had to put them in a couple places where they don't want to, but they should still work just fine. We had one there, one on the side here. reposition that and then we also have put one in the back by all these flowers Alright, now I've got the, all the bowls set up, now it's just to pick them up at the, in the evening, at the end of the day, and see what we catch. Well, uh, it's just afternoon, so I figured I'd do a little midday update before this evening. Uh, our first one here, let's say we got a stripper some flies 
and let's say one little sweat bee in there. Uh, so not a great turnout on that one. Butterflies are sometimes quite common to catch in these bolt traps, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, the blue one looks like one, two, three, four, five more uh, sweat bees. So that's a little better. Uh, I actually moved this yellow bowl closer to the flowers instead of out in the yard. Uh, let's see, I got a damselfly. Oh, I got a major chylid there. And a sweat bee. Well, it looks like there's another bee in there, so a couple bees in there. So far, so good. Getting a little something. Uh, this one has a couple... Things, uh, I believe they're wasps down there in the bottom. Uh, this trap I wasn't really expecting to catch anything in, but still got something. Down here, some butterflies flying around. Here looks like. Oh, do we? Yep. No. I think this would be. Won't really sit still, but mostly flies in that one. Last but not least. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like about oh, looks like five bees in here. So all in all, most of them turned out pretty good so far. Hopefully by the end of the day, get a few more. So yeah, that's our little midday update. All right, well. It is now late in the afternoon, early evening, and time to see what we got in the bowls. When it comes time to process the samples, I use a, just a strainer I got here, and it works per perfectly fine. Um, so you can kind of do this one of two ways. Um, you can just pour everything, or more than two ways actually, you can just pour everything into the strainer and then sort stuff when you get back home. Uh, you can pick out all the bycatch that you don't want and then sort it so you just keep what you want. Or you can just uh, pick out what you want from, from the thing, just set it in the strainer and just dump the rest out. Um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna pick through each bowl, get what I'm looking for because this other, uh, any other way is going to be kind of difficult holding a camera with uh, one hand. Uh, so we got a wasp there. Elected. Another wasp. Uh, ended up with a couple skimmers, a lot of for, uh, flies, uh, quite a few lawn laid flies. Um, I think that's all the bees in that one, so I only got three in that one. Then just dump it out. Of course, you can keep whatever you want from there. 
depending on what you're looking for. If you want to keep all the bycatch or anything like that. Um, all the bycatch so far, at least in that one, I don't deal with that all, so I'm not going to keep it. This one has a few bees in it. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then feels like just little plant hoppers. So I got seven helictids in that one. Bowl number three. Not a couple of meter tylids. A few helictids. So this one ended up being a decent and all right. Paul. Uh, I think that's a uh, crib rotted. Well, it did. Mm, that isn't a ser. That might be a seratina. A genus of carpenter bee. Uh, but that seemed those are the only bees in that one. Excuse me for a minute while I open the gate. Alrighty. It looks like nothing more is caught in this trap, just those two from this morning. And just a couple flies. Raspberry bush, yummy. This bowl looks like you got quite a few things, whether they're amipterums or not. I'll find out. Oh, we got a Braconid or Newman. Another wasp. And I think that's it. The rest are just flies. I had high, ho I had high hopes for this uh, bowl, so that's kind of disappointing. Oh well. Come on. I usually have two hands free doing this, so... A little harder than I thought. Hopefully our last bowl gave us something good. Uh, I got a couple more bees in there. They all look like uh, helictids, but I definitely take that. All right. 
So not a really big haul at all. Kind of disappointing actually. But that was actually my first time using bull traps in the yard. So I'm going to get these in and then I'm going to wash them and clean them up. And then well, I'll just show you what I do after I get them back to the house. All right, so as soon as I get stuff back to the house, I well, we're in my bathroom right now. Uh, I take the strainer of bees, just rinse the water over them, just rinse that soapy water off. And luckily, since there's not very many at all, it's easy to shake it off a little. And I just place them on a toilet paper or paper towel. Then I pat them, dry them out a little bit to get some of that excess water off. And then once I do that, I have a jar of 70% alcohol. And I just put them in there. And to help, and as soon as they're in there, I put in a little bit of 95% alcohol. And that can to just kind of help counteract the somewhat a little excess water on there. Not to refill this. Yeah. Then they're in the jar. I preserve until I get around to drying them out, pinning them, and everything. Then put the cover on. I put a label of where they were caught and the date. And I place them in the fridge to help avoid uh, degradation of the specimens. And that's basically how I do my bull traps. Um, hope you found this, uh, this episode interesting. And I'll see you all next time.